This is graphing a system of two linear inequalities advanced, okay? So what we're going to do in this particular section is we're going to graph two inequalities and then shade the solution. The first thing I need to do before I can do that is rewrite each inequality so that I can uh, graph it. So I'm going to add 5x and remember the rule with inequalities. You solve them just like you do equations except if you have to divide by a negative then the little symbol will flip over. But here I only need to divide by a positive 2. So my little symbol does not flip over. However, when I solve that, I end up with negative 1 for my y-intercept and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2 as my slope. So I end up with this line here. Okay, then I need to shade where the y values are greater than this line. Well, looking at the line and looking at the y values, these are the y values that are greater than that line. So this would be the region that I shade for the top problem, okay? And because this does not have a bar in it, my line should actually be a dotted line. So bear with me while I try to make this a dotted line. Okay. In Alex, it's easy, right? Just click the button and make it a dotted line. Okay. Now the bottom equation. So I'm going to minus 7x, minus 7x. Leave my x's in front of my constants. Divide by 3. I did not divide by a negative, so notice that my symbol stays exactly the way it was. And this time, I'm going to have a y-intercept of positive 2, and I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. And so then we get this as our... Um, as our line. Okay. Now for this line, we're going to take all the y values that are greater than the line. That would be, here's the line, that would be these y values up here, which means I would have to shade this side of the solid line. Well, the solution to the system is the region that contains both shaded regions. So if you notice right here, you've got some lines going this way from the first equation and some lines going this way from the second shaded region, which means that this region in here is the actual solution. Okay. Now the problem says give the coordinates of a point in the solution set. This region right here is the only thing in Alex that I'm going to shade. You are not going to shade all of this and all of that. You're only going to shade the one region where the two pieces overlap. And that's in here. And if you want to pick a coordinate, just make sure you land on a corner, right? So the coordinates of this point would be 1 for x and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for y. You could have picked any point. You could have picked a point on the y-axis. You could have picked a point further into the corner. You could have picked a point over here, over there. As long as it's in that shaded region, any of those points will be correct. 